G'day everyone and welcome to Common Prayer. Today I've brought you to one of the parkrun markers. Um, up until the beginning of the year, the Dolby parkrun was running every Saturday morning. And the parkrunners have actually kept doing parkrun. They've kept doing five kilometer circuits by themselves uh, in order to keep training and keep, uh, keep fit during um, time of social distancing. Today in our New Testament in a Year reading plan, Paul is defending his authority as an apostle. It seems some people are questioning his authority as an apostle, not because he keeps asking for money, but because he doesn't. It seems Paul, in order to survive, has been making tents, but he hasn't been begging for money like the normal traveling preachers. And strangely enough, People are doubting his authority because he's not asking for money. And so he says, I became all things to all people so that I might win some. In other words, he's saying, I've made sacrifices. I've trained myself in order that you might hear the gospel. I didn't want to be a burden to you. And so he finishes 1 Corinthians 9 by talking about runners in a race or boxers in a fight. And he writes this. Do you not know that in a race all runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly, but I fight like a boxer beating the air. No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave, so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. So Paul talks about the sacrifices he makes and how the attempts and the energy he puts into discipling himself and discipling others. And so my encouragement for you today, friend, is to keep making sacrifices, to keep running your race, um, not as someone beating the air, but as someone who's deliberate in trying to glorify God and to make disciples. My prayer for you comes from the sixth Sunday after Pentecost, and it says, Lord, we beseech you mercifully to receive the prayers of your people who call upon you and grant that they may both perceive and know what things they ought to do and also may have grace and power faithfully to fulfill them through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Have a great day, everyone. Keep training yourself to follow Jesus and we'll see you next time.